everybody it's angie with angie's face face yes it's my face um place <laughs> we have the unplugged box today so supposed to be some really exciting things in here this is september's box and before we begin if you'll do me a favor and hit the like and the subscribe right down below thank you very much that will help me out a lot <laughs> it will get worried about about us and maybe have some people to discuss this with and show them what unplugs all about um they have a, both adult and young adult subscriptions they are 39.99 a month they support small businesses and it is a self-care book club so what that means is they have a lot of self-care items, self-care and usable items in the box. Um, on this one, I do the young adult. I mean, I'm sorry. Whoops, I said that wrong. I do the adult. So this is going to be the adult box. Um, they do have some that do the young adult, but I really, really like the adult books that they pick out on this one. Whoever it is, thank you very much. You do a great job creating what books you're going to get in here. So, let's open it up and see what we got. I'll try to. Okay, the first thing. Okay, I'll show you the little... You see that? The little sneak peek thing right there. And I am just throwing it all around so I can't see it. Let's see here. Let's say. Um, this is right, the September 2021 adult box, and this was their three-year anniversary box. So this one's supposed to be extra special, and it is called Rise from the Ashes. You And the good thing about this month is, let's say you don't like the book that's coming out, or maybe you're short on cash for the book on the next month, you, all you have to do is say, skip it. And then you skip a month or maybe you even have too many books who knows whatever the reason but it is a good box um at least i believe so because i do like the books that come in this subscription all right let's see on the back we have the lovely little things on the back oh they also have a photo a photo challenge so to tell you oh what the different things are so let's see here does it says the name well anyway I guess the best thing we can do is tell you a little bit about what's in here then because all this is is really the photo change so let's see if we got something else in here I've only got one other of these boxes so if this was a brand new technically this is only the second time I have gotten it um, See here we have cozy autumn reading plan it's a pumpkin chai latte if this is coffee ingredient oh it's black tea so i might like it it's black tea ingredients is black tea cinnamon and cardamom it's got nutmeg pepper ginger apple pieces orange pieces rose hips hibiscus petal sunflower petals natural flavors white chocolate nibs and clove Ooh, that's very interesting so that's gonna be like a little play on hot and sweet so it'll be a little bit spicy a little bit sweet so there we have it and let's see who is this by it is sun it's by sunshine cottage so that's our dream Okay, next we get, oh my goodness, very little handwriting. Okay, it's not handwriting, it's actually a little print. See, you might be able to do the screen a little bit bigger so you can actually see what it says. Oops, mine's open. Okay, let's close it. It doesn't look like anything came out, so no harm, no, no foul there. It's good. Unplugged book box, it is Bee's Hair Rinse by hair garden nursery and this is mango runways okay whoa came out the side here oh that smells really good it smell mm -hmm. you know it does smell good it smells kind of um it's a light 
floral scent. I know it says mango, and maybe it is. It could be like a light melon scent to it, but I like it. And I don't like mangoes. So that says a lot. But yeah, so this was by um, Hair Garden Nursery. But so that's nice. Let's see. We, it looks like we have a bath bomb. Ooh, bath bomb. Let me see the bath bomb. Isn't that pretty? It's pinks and purples. It looks almost like Saturn with a little ring around it. And okay, I am going to butcher this name. I'm going to show you the name there. So you can butcher it too. And let, if you know how to say it, please say down below how to say this name. Because to me, I'm going to say it's a Kivas. Um, magic. Magical Journey and Spices Bath Bomb. Say so Kavos Magic. I'm not sure if Kavos Magic or Magical Journey and Spice is actually who makes this. And I don't want to get this wrong. Okay, here's the bath bomb. Is the the name of it is oh I'm sorry, it's Wind bath bomb okay it's by kavath from patrick rossfield name of wind very nice and it is magically gifted and must use his gifts to persevere after many challenges this is an exclusive bath bomb for unplugged very cool very cool very cool very cool so maybe it might tell us a little bit about the other two we just had. Um, let's see, Latte Blend. Okay, we already, okay, we already knew it. It's by Exclusive by Sunshine Cottage. That's cool. And they are on Etsy. And the hair rinse is, let's see. Ooh, we got some nice stuff in this box. Okay, one to watch hair cleanser. One to watch Kate Stamen, London. Features B, a plus sized fashion blogger who is sick of the lack of body diversity on some of her favorite shows. She must push through criticism to show off what she's got with her fashion skills. This hair rinse is unplugged exclusive by Etsy shop, the hair garden nursery. So that tells you a little bit about who made that. That's cool. And ooh, guess what we got? We got a candle. We got a candle. Okay, let's see. Candle, 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 candle. It's in here somewhere. Okay, interview with a vampire candle. Annie Rice interview with a vampire features Lestat, who was unwillingly indoctrinated into the vampire way of life. We watch as he rises through the challenges to become who he is meant to be. This is unplugged exclusive candle from the natural pure honest. Code unplugged saves natural pure honest dot com. So that's what that looks like. Okay, that was upside down. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, it smells like candy. Mmm, it does. It smells like candy. Look at that. Maybe that's the cherry. <laughs> that's cool. It's got like a little cherry bubble coming through. That is awesome. And it smells really good. Yeah, maybe cherry blossoms, but it smells like candy. It smells sweet. Mmm, sweet. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, so you can see. I'm not showing you sizes because these are just little samples. Although this is a really nice size sample of tea. Very nice. Next we have, oh, it's wrapped. Okay. Let's see what we got all wrapped up in this pretty little bag. Look, can you see the diamonds that are on the, the 
the tape. That's awesome. I like that. Anyway, let's whoa 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 whoa. Uh -huh. Look, whoops! I lost the key. I love this. Let me see if I can get this to where you guys can see this key. Oh my gosh, isn't that just very cute? And then we have this little thing. All right, I'm gonna have to see if I can find it. It looks like maybe lip gloss or something. I'm sorry, my puppy's on my lap. She's being... Doesn't really have a smell. Let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't, you can't see it, but it is, it's um, like a lip balm. Let's see if that's what it is. Let me tell you about the camera. La, la, la. I guess it's the Outlander B. Okay. Has to be because that's clear. Let me see. I see if you can get a nice good look at that. It's kind of not coming in very well except for at that spot right there. Let me open it again. So as I let you know, it, you can try and smell it if you want, but there's no smell on this one. It's just a nice... Um, um, if you've ever felt the EOS, I think it's EOS bombs that you put on your lips that are in round, that's what it feels like. And it's a, definitely need it this time of year. It is protect your lips. It is winter. I don't know about y'all, but my lips get really bad. You'll see me. I'll, I'll have um, just plain lip gloss on a lot because my lips get so chapped and I'm continuously putting it on all day long. Um, luckily, I live down south, so it doesn't happen, but maybe a couple of weeks out of the year. So I'm lucky in that respect. Claire from Diana Gabadine's Outlander series is a healer that knows her way around the apothecary. This bee propolis would come in handy on her journeys in healing Scotland. It's an unplugged exclusive by etsy.com slash shop slash little jaybird arm farm little jaybird farm so that's really cute i really like that oh it even has like little things on the back that i can't read because my eyeballs are not that good oh wait a minute i can read okay olive oil beeswax honey uh propella something or other okay i can't read that one that one's a little bit on the blurry side so it must have gotten a little bit low or a uh, smaller font that's the word i'm thinking of but it's really cute i like that i really do oh did i tell you who the candle was by um la 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 i think i did i'm pretty sure i did so let's go on to the next one. Let's see here. So what is the tea the key for? I love this key. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. Oh, we got a spoon for something. Maybe that's a bowl. There's something down there. Now this is definitely a spoon with a hole so you can hang it somewhere. Nice size little spoon. See, it's got that nice little stick my finger out. See, look there. It's pretty nice size. It's pretty. Let's see here what we got. Let's see here. It looks like a pot. Oh my goodness. That is just too cute. Do you see that? I'm sorry. I love book boxes. I know if some people Let's see, just because something seems impossible doesn't make it true. 
That is so true. We have to. I know some things do seem impossible. That is just too cute. Oh, that is adorable. Let's see if they have anything on that. Exclusive witch's spoon. I want to see. Is this the bottle? Oh, it is. It was just packed with the other one. Okay, I can tell you a little bit about this now. But in a second. Because we have to do the bowl and the spoon. Because we just did that one. Diana Bishop of Deborah Harkin's book series doesn't think she wants anything to do on sorcery. However, she soon realizes how difficult it is to fight fate. She must push through the difficulties to be the hero of the story needs. This bowl is an unplugged exclusive. Very nice. Okay, this happens to be a bottle opener. And a cute little key. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes, I know. I get amused by little things. And this is little. That's cute. Sherlock and is an expert at solving mysteries. After every hard case, he must push through and move on to find the keys to solving the next. This exclusive key also is also a bottle opener. It's key, yep. Yeah. It is. That just was packed with it. Okay, so let's see what we got next. We have, oh, oh we have her signature. Yay. We burned, the night we burned is obviously the book. <laughs> oh my God. And we got a note from the author. Look at there. Oh, look at this. It's a big note too. Holy mac. Look at that. That's huge. A note from SF Casa. Thank you. That's very sweet. I love that. Signed and so we have to remember that. It was like, oh my god, I was thing in here. I missed it. Ah, this is an awesome one. Oh my gosh. You gotta know. Oh, if this is what I think it is, oh my goodness. This is like a theme of a lot of things that I do now. Is Oh my gosh, it is a look at, I'll put them on here so you can actually see them a little better. Oh my gosh, a look at these. They are clips for your hair. I mean, yeah, you could wear them on your clothes if you want to. Also, you'd have to clip it up at the top here. I think my phone's going up. I'm sorry. We'll have to fix that. But look at that. Isn't that cute? And look, it's left and oh, is it left or right? No, it's not. Oh, those are just so cute, aren't they? Perfect for Halloween. Awesome. And the way I do my books now. So let's see. My book boxes. And I think the last item is our book. And then we get a sneak peek card. So let's see here. We got in the book. This is nice. They have really good adult books. They have, I believe this one's a gothic. And that is like my favorite genre is gothic. And they're very hard to find nowadays, which is ow, 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 ow. It's not the only one I read. I read a lot of other things. I read regular, um, I guess, I guess they call it contemporary fiction with Judy Picoult and Kathleen Woody Wiss and stuff like that. And oh, who is it? Who, Kathleen Woody Wiss is probably one of my favorites in that genre. Um, there's a few other Irish. Johansson also does some of those. They do some really good books. And, but if you do like Gothic, if Gothic is one of your things, a lot of the young adult subscriptions actually do have gothic-like books. So check them out. This book has it. This one has young adult too, if you like young adult fantasy and stuff. I just happen to like, it's like the person who picks out these adult books is talking to me. They're, they're picking them out for me. They're awesome. Okay, I know this is what you're waiting on, is We Burn the Night. 
and this is just awesome. I'm so happy for this one. And let's see. Her past was in ashes until it came roaring back for more. Dora is always aware of the line of fact, the line between fact and vision. Fiction. I can't talk. To, I can't ever talk, can I? That's probably part of it. <laughs> as a fact checker at an online magazine, her job depends on it. And as a woman outrunning her secrets, so does her life. But when a colleague decides to pursue a story about a murder in her hometown, one linked to a deadly fire at the cult compound 20 years ago. Prior, all of Dora's carefully spun deceptions are suddenly at risk. As Dora works with her colleagues, I'll turn facts to hide her past. Along the way, she's thrown back into a world she tried so desperately to leave behind. One of the ritual and belonging of dangers and darkness. A world where two girls promised to help each other through until it all went up in flames. As her lies piled up, so do her murders. Oh, not her murders. They were murders. Very important until Dora realizes she won't be lucky enough to escape twice. Wow, and she also has The Quiet Girl. Ooh, I'll have to check out that one. See, and also these books introduce you to authors you might not have ever heard of. And to me, that's awesome. So that is what the book is about. And this book itself is $16.99. Okay, this whole box was $39.99. So you get the book and all these awesome goodies. And it's, look at this. It's cute. It's like adorable. I'm sure you can use it for something, right? Yes. It's all kinds. You can use it for soup. Would you be a bad thing? Or even tea if you want to. Get her a huge cup of tea. And let's not forget my favorite, the key opener. Is that my favorite? I don't know. It's probably my favorite. Between that and these, oh, I love those two. So those two are technically my favorites, is the hair clips and the keychain. And then, of course, you have the rinse, the hair rinse. Ah! The yummy sounding tea. The lip gloss, the candle, and we can't forget the bath bomb. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got eight products in here. Eight. And they're all very nice. Plus, you get a signed book or book plate with an author letter so and then we're gonna get our sneak peek so that's everything on the box let me know down below what do you like most about the box is there something you don't like about that box please let me know down below that would be awesome and um let's see here the next one is the spookiest boxes of the year are coming Boxes include thrilling tales and dark delights. Unplugged book box, October 2021. And the sneak peek, if you look on side, um, at the unplugged book box site, you will actually get a preview in the video listing of the upcoming book. It'll also give you a rundown of what the books are about. So, and if you like the book box, there is a thing down below. You can subscribe to them. It would help me out a lot if you use mine. If you don't, it's okay. I understand. Um, but it does help me. <laughs> but you'll also go check out this um, their Instagram site and see if you like the upcoming stuff you may you might find a box that you actually like like i said yes they are normally they are 
um, soft book covers. Okay, they're soft books. Um, paperbacks, whatever you want to call them, big size paperbacks, not the little ones, the big ones. Um, so no, they're not hardbacks in this one. Um, but if you look at the goodies that they give you, the amount of stuff that they give you, it's still signed. And some of these books don't come in hardback yet. And they are new releases. So it is very possible that these just won't come in hardback, maybe at a later date. But right now, they're in paperback, and that's how they're coming. And um, like I said, it's really, you see all the stuff that I got in this box. It was really, really nice box. And like I said, one of my favorite fixtures is the skip box. Because, hey, if you don't like a month or you're strapped for cash, you can skip a month. So you're really not losing, so you don't lose your spot or anything else so it's up to you what you want to do but like I said down below let me know what you think of it and I am repeating myself so I'm gonna stop right here let you hit the like and the subscribe and I'll see you on another video bye have a great day